to another GT scale modeling video. What we're going to do today is it's going to be a kit review of something I've not seen very many of. There are some, so I do not at all claim to be producing the only kit review of this model or the others that are similar to it. However, I thought that I would do my own one for my own channel and therefore there's one there. So what do we have? We have Trumpeter's 1 350th scale HMS Type 23 Frigate Monmouth, which is a bit of a Chinese thing. It's a Type 23 figure, it's HMS Mon Monmouth, which is pennant number F235. Uh, she's one of 16 Type 23s or something, and she's the sixth one. They are the Duke class, um, and so they're all named after various Dukes here in the UK. Uh, fairly uh, decent sized kit. Uh, I don't pretend to be any kind of decent ship modeler. I have built one to date. Uh, I built it okay. Uh, I didn't paint it very well, so it's uh, over on the shelf. But I wanted to try something else. Uh, I don't think I'll manage 1 700 scale, so went for something uh, a bit more modern and uh, and found this. I bought it from Wonderland Models here in Scotland, in Edinburgh, um, so yeah, I bought this kit. So looking around the box, it is kit number uh, 04547, some CGI artwork here, 380 mil in law, um, length, it's 46 8 mil wide and it's got 400 plus pieces. Side of the box has uh, an overhead sort of plan view of the deck area, uh, a bit of blurb. If you want to pause and read that, you can do it's in Chinglish. Uh, just the kit number and the artwork again. We have the side views, sorry, quite a long box, <laughs> best angle for this. So, some side views. It comes with a, a, an EH-101 or a Merlin anti-submarine helicopter, and the kit does include some photo etch. And the other end is the same. So, let's crack the top of the box. There, so inside, what do we got? A bunch of sprues and some paperwork. So, um, usual trumpeter thing of some adverts. Although, ironically, the kit has actually got itself in there. Um, so, let's get rid of that. Uh, color call out which I quite like. I don't like the black and white ones. Um, so yeah Nice Color call out here. I mean, it's two shades of grey and red um, but it's also got the decal placements of which, of which there are some uh, depth markings the icon in the tower the on the Exhaust stack, I'm not a Navy guy, whatever you call it. Uh, pennant number and obviously the pen at the end, the Maryland helicopter as well. Call outs on this are in Aqueous Hobby Color or Mr. Color. However, the paint reference chart also references Vallejo, uh, Model Master, Tamiya, and Humbrol, um, which is ironic because the main aircraft gray color that it calls out for does not have a Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya, or Humbrol equivalent apparently. Um, it's a fairly kind of standard light grey colour. Okay, instruction book. Uh, I am not going to go through this in detail. It's an instruction book. Oh, I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, usual thing. Instructions, how to apply decals, what the symbols mean, the read before assembly. Read if you wish. 
uh, sprue maps, which do have the numbers on them. Um, so in this kit we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 sprues if you count the one that comes with the stand, a sheet of photo etch and the decal. Some sprues though have literally got two parts on them uh, and the upper and lower hull. Construction starts with the hull, it's a one piece lower hull which is good. Um, however, it does mean that if you want to make this a waterline model, you would have to either sink it into the base or do some surgery. Um, the other kit I built, which was a Dragon Destroyer, um, it had the option actually, the lower hull was split in two horizontally, so you could just use the, the flat half if you wanted to do a waterline model, or you could add in the full hull. Um, so adding on the um, stabilizers and strakes, the sonar and the bow, props, transom, and bulkheads here on the rear deck, a few upper deck fittings around the bow, starting to make the masts, we've got PE photo etch there for the basket around the main mast which is relatively complex on these. Other small assemblies, the Harpoon Missile Launchers, or the Tomahawks, I think they might be Harpoons. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Various things on the inside of the hangar, I believe that could be. Yes, I think that's the roof of the hangar. If you can see this here. Uh, making up the bridge deck, the uh, and other various, we're just working through other sections of the Superstructure, again, more bits of the superstructure, hangar deck, um, probably the option to trim this door down if you wanted to have it open. Uh, we've got the ribs, ribs going into their cradles. Um, other masts, the main armament, so the gun turret and Oh, I can't remember what they're armed with. Sea Wolf? I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember what the main missile battery is on um, a Type 23. Uh, and then building up the Merlin helicopter with the option to have the blades folded or out, which is quite neat. So if you wanted to do it posed at being pulled out of the hangar or even stored in the hangar, the tail hanging out, you can have the blades folded. Um, which is quite nifty. Uh, last bit of construction is literally stick the sub-assemblies of um, superstructure parts onto the deck. Put the helicopter on the end and stick it on its base. So that's that. Okay, so let's take a look at the plastic then. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out here. So upper, uh, upper and lower hull, these are some nice bit of protection here from drum triggers. The front of this hull is kind of relatively pointed and relatively shaped. Um, already I can see that the deck hull fitting here is pretty good. Um, comes as one single piece there and there's not really much to say about that there's a seam liner on the bottom just to clean off and that's about it in terms of that um, the molded on detail so far on the rear deck here because you can see into this through some holes on the side and also on the rear here there's a little bit of detail in here um, you could probably add some more if you really wanted if you were so inclined and um, how much of it will be visible i don't know when it's done uh we've got bollards or capstans for um mooring ropes are, are molded onto the onto the deck and we've got molded on anchor chains here um, i'm not sure if there's photo etch ones included in the kit however there's molded on ones you can possibly buy aftermarket ones and scrape these off if you are that way inclined. So that's So 
So that's the hull, the main bit. So as you can see, a fairly, fairly sizable kit here. So what have we got here? We've got sprue M, sprue A. Uh, underneath the foam, we've got propellers. Hopefully we can see them. They're quite nicely um, cast. There's a tiny bit of flash on them, but they're nice for the complexity. And also the propeller shafts are under under here, nicely protected. Looking around, the surface detail is nice. It's fine. There is very little in the way of flash or anything, which means that cleanup on these small parts should be relatively easy. Um, but some really quite nice fine detail here on what I assume is two halves of one of the main masts. Gonna have to do a little bit of sanding here when you put this together. This is the sonar bow, the bulbous bow with the sonar in it. It's in two halves, um, you know, to, to then stick onto the the, on the underside of the bow. Bit of sanding probably there to make sure that that's nice and neat when done. Okay, so moving on, we've got sprue B. It's like these were packaged in order or something, which is quite nice. Um, apologies if any of this is out of focus. The camera's off to my side, so I can't actually see the screen of it. So I'm kind of just having to hope that some of this is in the shot. Um, some more small parts. We've got some of the wave breaker kind of semicircles. I mean, this kit uh, clearly is going to include quite a lot of just flat panels for for various bits. This is the uh, this is actually the flight deck. Doors are all molded on. Um, I don't believe there's photo etch replacements. I guess we'll get to that in later in the kit. Um, you could scrape them off, and presumably you could buy photo etch replacements. Uh, the main gun is here. It's pretty thin. You can I think uh, you can buy a. Uh, a metal replacement. I did have a look already. I believe white ensign models do one. Uh, there are two of these sprues in this bag, so I will just show you one of them. This seems to have oh some kind of uh, launcher devices here. I'm not sure what they are. The anchor, the sea boat as they call them, or the rib. That's quite nicely detailed actually for the size. Um, a lot of small parts. I believe this is one half of the um, Ehrlichan cannon. We've got the harpoon launchers here. Um, underneath the foam. Underneath the foam is the cradle for the SIBO and a couple of um, sensor domes. Um, sorry I'm kind of scooting through this, I don't really want to end up waffling too much. So with Sprute H, some of the kind of larger uh, panels for making up one of the superstructure um, parts. Nicely, the ladders are moulded on, the doors are moulded on, however there is kind of pipework and things also moulded on. At this scale I believe that um, you know just picking those kind of details out with a wash and some selective painting is probably enough. Again, if you really wished, you can probably go and replace a lot of those with photo etch. For this kit, I probably won't. Um, that's excuse me, that's a bit too much work for uh, a ship novice like me. However, uh, a nice 3D, uh, 3D slide molded um, gun turret here. A little bit of flash on it um, around some of the edges, but it's nice that it's one part. Uh, the plaque for the stand is also on this sprue and the transom, the back of the back of the hull. No idea if it's actually called a transom on big ships. The stern plate. Okay, sprue L, one of the ones that literally has Two parts on it. These are uh, some slide molded or 3D molded, whatever you want to call it. Parts for the superstructure. Again, that's going to make assembly of these nice and easy. 
less joys to clean up. These are just going to stick straight on again. Nice molded on detail. Some nice kind of grills in here. Um, and there's similar kind of detail all the way throughout. And then sprue M, which is the same kind of idea, um, just two superstructure parts. Um, yeah, same same thing, molded on doors, nice details, etc. This is the hanger, it's quite a kind of substantial part. External detail, again, doors, etc, etc. But also some internal detail on the roof structure of the hanger which is really quite nice to see some pipe work and things just because you will see a little bit if you decide to mold if you decide to model it with this rear door open then you would potentially see inside there uh the last well, this is the last chip sprue the only other one is the stand and the helicopter so Two turret types, there's another turret here, there's a more rounded one, I believe this is actually an older version, I believe some of the ships in the class still have this turret, um, the others having been changed a little bit. We've got the four deck uh, missile launcher silo top, it's quite nicely detailed, and some more superstructure parts, and I believe this is actually the bridge deck with the bridge windows and things you could possibly cut them out if you really wanted to and put some thin acetate behind them or something um, but again it's a nice single single piece so hopefully construction of this should be relatively easy uh, this is just the um, stand I'm not going to bother taking that out it's just chip stand now, this may be a little hard to see being clear, so I'm not sure if that bit was. So the Maryland helicopter comes on two sprues, comes clear, so we'll do our best to show you this. I don't actually have anything to put behind it. So it comes in clear plastic. Uh, which will mean that you just have to mask up the windows and go ahead and paint it mm, Rather than trying to add any windows Quite nice detail actually in it for its size. It's pretty small. We've got a separate tail uh, nose wheel winch here and the sort of main and the main wheels here And then the second sprue has mm, tail rotor rear elevator the wing the and the main rotor blade folded unfolded and two other parts here which i'm not entirely sure what they what they are possibly something that glues on the side of the helicopter somewhere so quite nice uh, if you really wanted to you could possibly try and find a resin or plastic wildcat model if you wanted to model this uh, ship with a wildcat um, decals are decals right um, they look okay I'm not going to bother getting them out there's not very many of them a couple of deck markings um, kind of warning lines and things for the flight deck ship names ship sim symbol depth markings on the hull pennant numbers About as exciting as that gets. Okay, we'll take this out of the bag just so it shines a bit less. So, single sheet of photo etch uh, in trumpeter style with a sh film of plastic on either side. So, we do have some ladders, um, although. Mm, they may be ladders or they may be uh, walkways for masts, actually. Another couple here. I think that's what they are, walkways for masts. Um, there is a couple of ladders here, actually, and there is some here as well to go on the masts. 
These are the kind of crow's nest walkway things that go around one of the main main masts as well. So nothing that looks too too fiddly. Touch wood. But we'll, we'll see when we construct it. Okay, so that is everything that's in this kit. Uh, I'm quite looking forward to building it. Um, it may be something I do relatively soon once I'm finished what I'm working on. Uh, if that's the case, I'm kind of tempted to try and do it as a build series. I, I, I'm not very good at those. I don't know. I don't really know how to go about doing it. Um, I know the result I would want, but I don't know the steps required to get there. I don't know if I will have the patience or the know-how to really see it through to the end to make something that's actually worth watching. But watch this space, um, and hopefully somebody um, finds this interesting, maybe hadn't seen the kit before. I believe Trump to do one or two other of the ships in the same class. Um, really what the difference is, it's probably relatively minor. And um, yeah, so hopefully somebody does find it useful. Um, and yeah, keep an eye out for the build of it appearing in some form on the channel in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.